Hello there, this is Jill from Jilbert's Bits of Bites and today I'm going to show you some new brushes that I made. They're dynamic brushes that I call stencil it. Basically what they do is they mimic you using let's say your spray inks with your stencils. Now each there's going to be four packs. Each pack contains four stencils and each stencil has three flow rates and so you get a different buildup, you know, a different rate of buildup. And you'll understand that better once I show it to you. Now with each of these brushes, I do have um, instructions on how to install what you need to do. And let me show you something though. When you, I installed these, I realized that, gee, they all look the same. I, how can I tell the difference? See up here I can tell the, you know, sizes and what the brush looks like, but I don't down here. So to kind of help with that, there is also an action. And this is just the action for the first one. And what this action does is like, let's start here with the stencil light. As you can see, it created a new layer. It also selected my brush. You do have to make sure that you have the brush tool selected. So make sure that you've hit B to get it to go. So on here, let me show you this. This is the light. Now you can leave it light or you can just keep building up. You can get a little heavier. That takes a while. So let's come down here to the medium. And what you'll see again is created another layer. It's selected the uh, honeycomb. That's medium. As you can see, this kind of comes down faster. You know, I can get it real dark as fast as I want. Excuse the scratchy voice, it's allergies. Now the heavy, this is the star stencil heavy. Once again, I'll play it. Got my new layer and it I can just come across it just a couple of times and it comes really heavy if that's what you want. So as you can see there's there's a different flow rate for each one of the stencils. So that basically between the three stencils, I'm sorry, four stencils and three flow rates, each pack will give you 12 brushes. Now I, I, this took so long with doing the action I found it kind of tedious. So let me, let me get rid of these. One way around it is, is to go into your list, large list view and you do that and you can see the names of each of the brushes and you can just sort of forget about running the action. You do have to remember to create your own layer if you don't want them all mashed onto a single layer. Now one thing I do want to note, I'm using a mouse. You can use a pen if you want, but you're going to get the same results. These, these brushes are not dependent on a pen. They have no pen settings. And that's because I'm old and I use a mouse. I haven't quite gotten used to using a pen. So these I did, it's very much for me. Um, there are changes you can make. And this is basically what I'm going to show you is there's going to be a difference between the PSC version and what you do over in the Photoshop bec just because of the nature of what you can do to a brush. So you can come down here to brush settings and you, actually the scat, um, I'm sorry, the scatter, the spacing um, and the roundness is not going to do much for you. The scatter is just going to make it go all over the place. You can play with it and do that. but that's about all you can do to the brush itself. You can, however, increase the size of it. And let's see, okay, so I'm up here at this one here, and what that does is it gives you bigger spray dots, as you can see. Let's go down to something that's a little bit, it's a, at the medium level. So you can see, this is 254. Let's make this a little better. Okay, so this is at the default and then if I want I can increase it and that's what you get is that you're gonna get bigger dots so you you know you've got some flexibility there now the one big difference though between this version and using it over in Photoshop is that I can make more changes so let me create a new paper here as you can see I'm in list mode I can make sure I've got my brush selected one of many. So here's the snake skin and I have it in heavy and like I said it's easier to see it in medium. Okay so you can see that there. 
I can increase the uh, size of the dots. But what I can also do is I can actually change more of the presets. I, in fact, th what this would do is, you see this here, the texture? I can play with the scale. So right now, that's with the big brush. Let me just go down to a fooling around here. Okay, so this is the default at a medium flow rate. If I come to the texture, you can see I can make this bigger. So what this does is it increases the size of the stencil. So you can make the stencil larger or smaller. You also have the option of making the dots bigger. And quite honestly, those are the only two things that you know, you ch you're probably going to want to ever change are those, um, the different things there, the stencil and the ink itself. Um, and unfortunately, you can't get to the texture over in PSC. So that should be it for now. I hope I've explained it all to you. If you have further questions, please feel free to email me at gilbert at gilbert.org or use my contact form over on my blog, which is gilbert.org. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Bye.